so they did it they released another update or should i say one of the biggest patches that we were kind of waiting for hell let loose 14.5 has been released and boy did it come with quite a lot of interesting new things the main thing well dusk on el alamein taking the map into sort of a new setting everything is a little bit quieter and much harder to see it was kind of the only update that was actually going to fix this map because one of the main issues was being shot from across the wayside whether it was a sniper a tank or even an mg they could sit on a hill and just spray down countless amounts of enemies as they'd run past but now now that still happens but you just have no idea where it's coming from El Alamein Dusk is a good update. It's not a great update, but it does something at least fairly usable. However, the map just still isn't used that much. It clearly hasn't caught the attention of most of the players and most servers are still not playing with this new variant. And even the map itself, I had a really good game on El Alamein and it feels like with the enhanced movement speed with everything else that's come around it some of the nerfed guns and the way that the map is alterated in terms of the game modes it seems like it's better but it's not great at least not just yet well for starters we're actually getting some decent fps which is more than i could have said of the map before and I never hated this map as much as a lot of people. And gameplay wise, okay, I agree. And there was no argument that it's not perfect. It's not even good. But god damn, does it look beautiful. So it looks like we're playing offensive. Yeah, our headway is incredibly limited here. And as that tank shot, I got quite a bad frame drop. So some of the main issues of this map are still apparent. The fact that you will just be sniped from over miles and miles and miles because someone will be sat on a hill over here yeah there's an mg there and this guy the amount of kills he would have got just because he can look down into this whole valley i got him i think the map is permeated with fog paving the way for different approaches to winning of course it has the cool new british and german sub factions added in within it to fit this setting the british eighth army and the german africa corps it does immerse you a little bit more but not only that it means that you're not running around in forest camo on the deserts of el alamein because who didn't want the north africa campaign to be mixed with the western front not just that, but Driel Knight has come in as well. We've had basically night variants and night updates to every map within the game, and we're slowly moving through. I played a really great game of Night El Alamein. It was fantastic, actually, especially in the back of a tank. I put up a whole video of me doing tank convoys in nighttime. You should definitely go and watch that. Okay, yes, it's a tiger, so careful. Yeah, good hit, good hit. Yep, yeah, it's heading this way. I'm just kind of predicting where it's going to be if it's constantly Yeah, I'll moving. try and Maybe we wait hold. till... Oh, yeah, no, he's come out the side. He's come out the side. Nice. Okay. He's One not more. dead. Uh, just wait on the reloading. Try hit it side if you can. Come on. Okay. Yes, it's oh, down. Oh, someone else got oh. it. No, <laughs> they stole my kill. To the right, to the right, to the right. Hard right, hard right. It's a Lux. It's going to kill our infantry. Now, Don't let it kill our infantry. Yes. Damn. You just I don't know a new address. driving so. at us for so, and then it for so turn. long, and then it was like, oh no. no. <laughs> <laughs> And for my first time ever, I got a look at the new flamethrower. Okay, admittedly, it wasn't me using it or seeing someone kill an enemy, but I just wanted this guy to show me the true power of this machine. Can you do it while he's not standing next to me? <laughs> oh, just go for it, mate. Kill them all. Alright. Take to back, getting banned after this. <laughs> You want medium rare? Uh, uh, you yeah, can you, medium rare, please, sir. <laughs> Tim, do you want to be flame forward, sir? Medic? Uh, do you want... Uh, uh, wait, someone just called medic. He's back on the menu, boy. <laughs> Right, this guy can fucking stay. What a legend. So what else has been added in? Well, in terms of weaponry, we have some pretty exciting new stuff. I've mentioned all this in the past, but now getting our hands on it, you're able to really see the effect it can have on the game. The Thompson M1928A1. It's the North African submachine gun that is basically the American Thompson, but with the British variant. It has that really iconic drum magazine underneath it. And that will be the main thing if you're playing as an officer in the British Army. 
but one of my favorite guns that has been added in, or should I say updated, is the Lee Enfield. You see, the Lee Enfield was in, but now the SM Alley Mark III rifle really just gives a boost to your gameplay if you're playing as, well, for example, in my case, a medic. That is the main gun that you're going to be using there. At first, I was a little bit skeptical. Bolt action rifles are often a little bit tricky, but on a map like El Alamein, where everyone's a little bit distanced anyway, it's kind of perfect. And my god, the sound of that gun. Oh. I got so lucky that that guy didn't see me then. Come on, pop your head up, lad. Yes, I got him. <laughs> this gun is beautiful. We've got some screenshots of all the new arms and armor, but also some of the uniforms. Now, I did mention the 8th Army and the Africa Corps. We can see some of this up close in the screenshots that Hell Let Loose have added into their developer briefing. And of course, the beautiful desert camo on the Churchill. I think I do actually capture a little bit of gameplay with the Churchill as well, but this tank is such a beefy boy. It is one of the more heavier tanks, and no, it's not a crocodile, so it doesn't have the flamethrower on it. But we did hear about a year ago, when the developers were talking about how they're going to fix all the issues that Howl Let Loose has had, that flaming tanks, they are a possibility. Oh, look how gorgeous this thing is. Look at you, boy. Look at that. Look at us in our desert camera. Oh my god, we look so good. In terms of the Churchill itself, though, the audio mix has been improved, armor values evaluated and updated, and of course, the turning speed has been changed. It's known as a big, heavy, lumbering tank, but that's pretty much the only nerf that it has. On El Alamein, if you sit on top of a hill, there's pretty much nothing else that can take you out unless they have some sort of tiger or panther from a great distance or even a flanking area. Speaking of panthers, though, you're not going to be coming across that in El Alamein. Why? Because it doesn't make any sense. This was definitely more of a Western or Eastern Front tank, so they've removed it from the African Front, which is a nice update to see. They are trying to focus more on this historical accuracy, because that was a big focus of Howl at Loose when it came out. Yeah, in recent years, they've definitely strayed more towards just putting in content, making it somewhat arcadey and, yes, more accessible to other players. But in this case, I think they do need to start steering back towards more of that historical accuracy, because... That doesn't really make a difference. The Panther tank is just one of two German heavy tanks, so having the Tiger is no real issue in this setting. It would be nice to see nice skins for the Tiger, though, because, yeah, it still doesn't quite work. Oh, and one more thing. The Bren now has a bipod, in case you really wanted to sit on a hill and just spray people down. Whilst this update does add some really cool things, and I'm so glad that they're focusing especially on the British faction and the British maps like El Alamein, I still think something like the Lewis gun or the Bren gun don't have quite the same uses as the MG42s and things that the German light machine guns have, because they just don't quite have the love and time put into it. And whilst they are doing that looking into the future, it's still going to be quite a lot of time, I think, before the British faction gets that same kind of love and that same kind of roundness feeling that the US and the German faction do. But we're heading in the right direction. This is a very positive update. And boy, have I had a lot of fun playing on Al Alamein with that Lee Enfield.